Hi, Earth Signs. I hope that you're doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a collective Earth Sign energy reading. I just felt led to do an Earth Sign reading. Uh, maybe I'll do all of the elements, but uh, I just heard Earth Signs. And so... Anyway, here I am to do it. Uh, if you're returning back, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon. I'm glad to have you. I look at criminal activity most of the time. That is what I am uh, focusing on, stuff like that. Uh, you will hit, get scripture on this channel because it's written upon my heart. It's actually found in the tarot. I'm not a religious channel, though, or anything like that. Um, but uh, I do love the Hamashiach, which is the Christ, and uh, I seek our Father in Heaven, Yehovah Elohim. People come the universe. I seek Him in all truth, okay? Uh, I keep all ten of the commandments, and um, anyway, you'll just have to learn me as we go. I don't hold back. I'm very intense at times, and so you could get anything here on this channel. Okay, with that said, let's just go ahead and jump in here and see what's going on with the earth. Actually, there's a lot going on in the earth today, as we, as we know. Um, obviously there is war and things like that that's taking place in the earth and so we just extend our love and light uh, to the people of Ukraine uh, within all the stupidness that's going on right now you hope we just lift them up we just thank you for clear precise defined messages for earth energy what do you want to bring out show me what's hidden that needs to be revealed. Show me what's hidden that needs to be revealed. Show me earth energy. What does the earth need to be forewarned about? What's going on with Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy or anyone dealing with needing to be grounded? I have several that came out here. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Tower, the King or the Queen of Swords. Don't really know in this deck, okay, because they, they both kind of look the same, okay? We also have the Knight of uh, uh, Wands. We have two Knights and... Uh, a real sharp energy with the king or queen of swords. We also have the nine of uh, wands as well, earth signs. And this shows a bunch of cats behind bushes looking at the mice taking the cheese. Okay? We have a player energy out here when this comes out. Let me fix this on the table. Some type of somebody sharpening up their sword here. There, there's tower energy here. That's of the five of cups. So, you know, there, there's loyalty situations going on. When the Knight of Pentacles comes out, uh, exes, divorces, uh, real sharp energy when this energy comes out in laws, medical situations, uh, legal matters. Um, anything professional could be here. Uh, this could be a witch, ditch type of energy. This is a lover. This is a ditch uh, as well. We had whoredom come out today in wording. Okay, this is sexual matters here as well. We have loyalty situations, earth signs around something. This is the pictograph of the sperm in the Hebraic language. Okay, somebody from your past, obviously, if you're dealing with divorces and things like that, and so be it. Uh, somebody's, you know, the Nine of Wands is about being wounded, but being a warrior as well. Somebody's trying to trap somebody. They themselves will be trapped as well, or did get trapped, or fixing to get trapped when the, when this tower comes down. Okay, it's coming from the heavens. It's lightning here, okay? Um, somebody has seen something sexual take place. Maybe on electronics, the word electronics came out. Okay, Something's already happened, or is fixing to happen. Okay, to cause some type of either bitterness out of this ordeal, uh, or somebody's pride and ego is coming down in a very big freaking way, and somebody's going to either turn, turn around and reconcile and take cups within some matter uh, that's taking place, and so be it, the, the energy will go either one of those directions for any given person out here. At the bottom of the deck, we have some, the, this is the page of pentacles, as somebody's juggling about uh, sending a message here the page is juggling uh, somebody's got a good solid message 
the pentacle represents, you know, solid messages. Somebody's sharpening up their sword in truth and great. Some people are sharpening up their, their sword to play somebody. Okay, if, if you're, it's known, it will be known about. It will be a destruction. Okay, the tower is a big jolt. Somebody from your past wants to return. They'll have no balance because it's about temperance and balance. Okay, it, it's either going to be a, a, a salvation because this is a salvation energy or it's going to cause somebody, oh my God, sit here and juggle because of some type of a communication. Uh, I told on two of my other readings today that something came out in wording stating that somebody had to really choose their words, how to speak, because somebody's dealing with somebody very jealous, very controlling. This is big time freaking control issues, okay, in the negative of that. Or somebody was controlling and something's taken place and somebody's, you know, been oppressed with those uh, uh, ten wands here, the nine of wands and an extra wand here because somebody played. Didn't turn out very good. Okay? Didn't turn out very good. It's very cold and bitter here. Somebody's still bitter and sharpening up their sword and uh, trying to figure out what to do, how to, uh, you know, return and, and, and do something. Re regardless of whatever's taking place, it's either going to set somebody free. The letter noon is this card in the Hebraic language, which is a salvation. This uh, tower has a meaning of truth setting somebody free. If, if it's going to go that way, then find somebody's going to take two cups and it's going to heal something. Otherwise, somebody's sharpening up their stuff here. Uh, to try to trap somebody, maybe even got other people involved in some stuff. We've got three court cards here, okay? Uh, we have heirs to kingdoms, spirituality here as well, genius stuff here. Again, I had, I think I already told y'all, I had the word electronics come out. And this is technology here. Um, somebody been watching something on technology as well, earth signs. <laughs> now this is the energy that's around y'all. Been a lot of oppression out here then because of some freaking player or because of a lover situation sexual matters lack of loyalty show me earth you hold up thank you shelter situations now uh somebody's being blown out of their you know, or was evicted out of uh, their home, shows it right here, or two people were in cahoots to do something, uh, cause somebody to lose their home, then there's shelter issues out here. Okay, I will read it that way because it is showing it like that as well. Suffering. Yeah, there is suffering out here, man. Somebody been suffering because of shelter issues, because of something that somebody did, they played somebody real hard, okay? Cause some freak stupidness, so be it. Uh, we have the word burn, brand, charred, the burning of skin, and darkening energy is out here as well. Okay, uh, some of y'all are dealing with fire issues as well, and some somebody got burned and they've been suffering. Okay, within um, where they lived. Okay, and so be it. That energy would also be showing up out here as well. A divorce and returning to source and drugs involved in some stuff. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Something around a car lot situation, travel situations are also here. Well, somebody also, yeah, the X is the problem. They showed up right here. Somebody's X is the problem. It shows up on my uh, table over and over and over again. Somebody dealing with freakish energy. Okay. Somebody's, uh, the X is a problem. If the X always shows up like this, people. I'm going to sharpen up my sword because I'm going to come and play somebody again. Okay? Because they're on freaking drugs. And uh, they get other people involved in some stuff. Try to catch people up and get them to take the bait within some matter. All it does is just bring freaking destruction. Unknown destruction at that, people. Unknown destruction. Somebody got just burned energetically within some matter. Uh, earth signs. Uh, then, then it, there's been a lot of suffering then out here around the thing. Okay. Well, you want me to just continue to pick more words for Earth energy, please. You shall remember Yehovah your Elohim, for it is He that gives you the power to get wealth, and it's He that establishes His covenant which he swear to your fathers, okay? Somebody isn't keeping covenant with the great one, okay? This is heirs to kingdoms, 
and somebody to try to come up in here and play for money's sake, okay? Um, whatever that is, you let Jehovah just bring it on out. Why ever he's bringing it, I don't know. You don't really care. Jehovah knows what he's talking about. Any given person needs to hear that. What comes around goes around. Yeah, somebody's got some real karmic stuff coming around to them. Going to just knock their freaking pride and ego down. Okay? They're going to get trapped for trapping other people. Okay? Um, very karmic stuff. Somebody says what I would give to just look into your eyes. We have the pictograph of the eyeball here. Okay? We have somebody closing or putting their hands up to their face. Okay? So if you're dealing with the blind or just you, something's taking place. Uh, and, you know, we had the word separation today, the word divorce come out here. Some people won't let go of something. The ex has been a freaking problem. And they got on drugs. They did some stuff. Some people have returned back to source. This is eternity. Some people have died and they just sit there in the past. Like, what I would give. Oh, my God, what I would give. What I would give to look into your eyes. And they won't release something. And you can't change the past. Or somebody won't um, do something or return. You can't change that person. All you can do is you. Okay, uh, so whatever that is, and somebody's just wishing to see somebody, then and if it's possible for you to get up quickly to go and to knock some pride and ego down, then great, you'll fix something if it's possible. Okay, the wicked are being removed, earth signs. Jehovah says they are being removed. He's knocking them down. If somebody's standing in your way, and you are loyal, and, the, and you know, the ex is your freaking problem. All they do is just, my God, they're just a kook, and they're freaking wicked. Jehovah's going to knock their stuff down. He just is, okay? Uh, some type of an infant dedication. Something happened at an infant dedication for some of you all. So, again, we have sexual matters out here, but this kind of, you know, very big sexual matter. Something's taking place. Um, money is coming to us, okay? He's going to meet our needs. So if you need shelter and you've been suffering within matters, maybe you're going through a divorce because of your ex being a problem, drug situations that come in and depleted you from some matters, Jehovah says uh, money is coming and Elohim is going to meet the need. Thank you, Jehovah. We receive it. A lot of energy. This is a collective reading. Not all of this is going to go the same direction for every given person. So just take the pieces that apply. But I just heard that Jehovah said earth signs. Okay? The Jara. Again, somebody is mutually interested in a relationship. A marriage that's arranged for a mutual interest that uh, has been out here and somebody else a freak around thing. They've, they've, they've just done nothing but cause suffering and um, they, they, they did stuff around money. Okay, they're wicked out here. So be it. Some of you all are going to recover. This is a recovery and salvation uh, card when it comes out. Okay, this is a yielding of something as well. Somebody does need to yield to the truth, man. Somebody just needs to yield to truth. Because if you don't, man, your pride ego is going to come down. Everybody's going to see it. This is, the, this is the eye of Jehovah. He likes to bring the pride down. Okay. And this is knowing information and perceiving. Everybody's going to perceive it and know it. And you're going to be coming out of the freaking tower yourself because what comes around goes wrong on you. Anyway, this will come out uh, Earth Science Shalom.